when you're photographing people. The main thing is the connection. You want them to forget that you're taking their picture for a half a second. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a deep breath together. <sighs> Usually people do laugh when I do that. <laughs> and in addition, you can make a joke and say, Let's take a deep breath again. <sighs> I learned that in labor. You can use that one. <laughs> okay, now another trick. Get them to forget you have a camera by asking them some questions. So Ashley, what was your favorite moment of the last trip that you took? No, I don't like this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's your favorite person right now that you love, that you like? I don't know, I don't like these questions. Okay, um, <laughs> what's the last thing you do with your mother that you liked so much doing? Uh, we went shopping together and, <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and it was a bonding moment. <laughs> okay, now, did you see how good she looked? She actually forgot her picture was being taken for a split second, and that's all you need. So, you have everything ready on your camera, and then you get the person to connect with you. That's the trick. Now, if you're traveling and you don't know the language, you have to do another thing, and this is what I do. I hold my camera like this, and I go up to them. You have to have it over your heart and then I fall in love with them. And I'm serious, it works. Once in a while it doesn't, but you have to look them in the eye and let them know that you love them and you're not gonna do anything screwed up with it, like put it on the internet and be bad. <laughs> so, you're gonna have to practice that one on your own. But try it, just get courageous. Courage takes practice. Yeah. Now, Look at how much more comfortable she is when she sits down. This one took me about five years to figure out, to ask a person when you have control, to sit down because they go, oh, and they relax. And so have them relax. Don't have them stand up. People feel really self-conscious. So here we go. She's relaxed. She's happy. Perfect. We're getting good stuff. <laughs> and going back to what was the most favorite thing you did all week? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, she didn't have to remember because she smiled the way I wanted her to smile. Slam dunk. <laughs> okay. Big point. Now, for you, it wouldn't matter, Ashley, but for women over 40, it does. You don't want to get too low under their chin because you see into their nostrils, and we do not want to emphasize the neck here. It's an unflattering angle. So, you're either going to be looking into their eyes or a little bit higher. So, try that, and if you sit people down, <laughs> that will naturally occur. Because I don't have to always wear a scarf. Okay, Ashley. <laughs> Work your magic. <laughs> Ask me some questions. So, of the entire time that you've been staying there with us for the past week, what has been your favorite part? When we've done creative work together. Yeah. I really enjoyed that. And when we've had good conversations and waking up in the Redwoods, I love it. I love waking up in the Redwoods. And, and eating. It's been fun to cook for you. Oh, that was the money shot right there. Money shot, yay. 